Imagine a battlefield where your most reliable comrade never tires, never hesitates, and always puts your safety first. A robotic warrior that hauls gear, scouts enemy positions, and even fires back, all while you stay hidden. That's not science fiction. It's the Edge Group's Themis Unmanned Ground Vehicle, making waves at Indo Defense 2025. With its modular chassis, hybrid diesel electric heart, and payload bay built for anything from ammo crates to medevac stretchers, Themis blurs the line between support and combat. Today we'll unpack how this multi-mission platform redefines force protection, operational reach, and tactical agility for militaries across the Asia-Pacific and beyond. Indo-Defense 2025 in Jakarta drew defense ministers, military delegations, and tech innovators from across the Asia-Pacific. Against a backdrop of regional flashpoints, from the South China Sea to contested archipelagos, the exhibition spotlighted robotics and autonomy as force multipliers. Edge Group's booth buzzed with curiosity around Themis and its growing role in tomorrow's conflicts. Asia-Pacific's geography is punishing. Sprawling island chains, dense megacities, and extreme climates challenge traditional supply lines. Island hopping operations demand vehicles that can slosh through rivers, climb steep inclines, and slip through urban rubble. Enter unmanned ground vehicles, machines built to venture where soldiers face the greatest risk, then return with critical data or cargo. This new robotic vanguard answers three core demands, survivability, versatility, and endurance. Instead of sending convoys into ambush zones, commanders can launch Themis ahead, scouting for IEDs or enemy patrols. Stealthy electric runs let it survey nighttime positions without engine growl or muzzle flash. And when medevac or resupply is urgent, it shifts roles in minutes. Themis measures about 2.4 meters long, 2 meters wide, and just over 1.1 meter tall, compact enough for narrow city streets, yet stable on rugged trails. Weighing between 1,650 kilograms for the cargo variant and 1,810 kilograms for the combat model, its tracked undercarriage conquers 60% gradients and wades through 61 centimeters of water without breaking stride. Under the hood sits a hybrid diesel-electric powertrain delivering up to 15 hours of cruising endurance. Need silence? Flip to electric-only mode and operate for 90 minutes with near-zero acoustic signature. Top speed clocks in at 20 km per hour, no sports car, but more than enough for battlefield repositioning or tactical withdrawals. At its core is a modular payload bay. One moment it hauls 750 kg of ammunition, the next it carries stretchers for case vac missions. Swap in ISR sensors, comms relays, or bomb disposal robots in minutes. This plug-and-play architecture means a single chassis can handle logistics, reconnaissance, or EOD on the same sortie. The combat variant steps onto the field with remote weapon stations. Indo-Defense showcased Themis combat fitted with the Valhalla Loki RCWS, a 5.56mm to 12.7mm weapon suite engaging targets out to 2 km plus CUAS features to knock down hostile drones. For Asia's island states and littoral missions, amphibious capability is non-negotiable. Themis can splash into coastal shallows or riverbeds keeping supply chains flowing without bulky landing craft. Its compact frame navigates tight compounds or mountain tracks, bridging the gap between airliftable drones and heavy armored vehicles. Globally, 19 nations have adopted Themis, including eight NATO members and the UAE, which just ordered 40 UGVs plus 20 tracked combat robots for its world-leading robotics program. The future battlefield won't wait. As human-machine fire teams emerge, platforms like Themis lead the charge, carrying gear, scanning for threats, evacuating casualties, and laying down precise fire support while keeping soldiers safe. What role do you think unmanned ground vehicles will play in your military's doctrine? That's all for today. Thank you for watching.